welcome to this course on international humanitarian law and the law of armed conflicts. This new course, offered by the Peace Operations Training Institute, is the continuation of a first course launched in 2001. It has been completely updated and expanded to take into account the most recent development of the law. My name is Antoine Bouvier, I'm a legal advisor at the International Committee of the Red Cross. I'm based in Geneva. What is International Humanitarian Law, or IHL to make it shorter? Also known as the Law of Armed Conflict or the Laws of War, IHL is made of compulsory rules that follow two main objectives. The first objective is to protect those persons that are not directly involved in hostilities. The civilians, but also captured combatants and wounded military and sick members of the armed forces. The second objective is to regulate the means and methods of warfare. IHL is the result of a long process dating back to the 19th century, the first treaty, the first Geneva Convention was adopted as early as 1864. IHL has to be constantly developed and updated to take into account the development of new weapons, the development of new types of armed conflict, and the deployment of new categories of competence. This course is divided into eight lessons. Lesson 1 is a general introduction to the topic. In this lesson, we will discuss the main steps of the development of IHL. We will examine basic definition and we will discuss the types of situations in which those rules are applicable. Lesson 2 is entirely devoted to the protection of victims of international armed conflicts. In this second lesson, we will discuss the rules protecting the wounded, the sick and shipwrecked members of the armed forces, the rules protecting prisoners of war who are captured combatants, combatants fallen into the power of the enemy, and finally the rules protecting the civilian population. In lesson 3, we will discuss another set of provisions, the rules protecting the victims of non-international armed conflict or the victims of civil wars. These conflicts are today very common, they constitute the majority of today's armed conflicts. But unfortunately, and for reasons that will be explained in this lesson, the rules protecting victims of non-international armed conflict are far less developed than the ones protecting victims of international wars. In Lesson 4, we will discuss the rules on the conduct of hostilities. We will start with a discussion of the basic principles that are applicable, in particular the principle of distinction between military objectives and civilian objects, the distinction between combatants and civilians. And we will discuss the different rules restricting methods of warfare or prohibiting or restricting the use of specific weapons. In lesson 5, we will discuss the implementation of the rules of international humanitarian law. IHL provides for a number of mechanisms, of systems, of instruments that have been designed to facilitate the respect of the rules protecting the victims and also a number of rules regulating the repression of the violations of the rules. In lesson 6, we will examine the relationship between international humanitarian law, those rules applicable in armed conflict situations, and the rules of international human rights law. These are two separate but complementary sets of provisions and their 
joint application is sometimes fairly controversial or problematic. Lesson 7 addresses the question of the applicability of international humanitarian law to peace operations, to collective security operations. This is a complex uh, question, but I think this is also a question that is essential and that must be clearly explained. In the final lesson, we will discuss the role of the International Committee of the Red Cross, the ICRC. The ICRC is a private organization working essentially in situations of armed conflict, but the ICRC has been given by the international community a number of responsibilities relating to the development of international humanitarian law and also to the control of the correct application of uh, the, the, these rules. It is my hope that you will enjoy and benefit from this course. IHL is a complex but also a fascinating topic and its respect can really improve the protection of the victims of armed conflicts. Do not hesitate to contact me through the Peace Operation Training Institute if you need clarification or additional information. Thank you.